Which of the following is the author most likely to agree with? If Darwin knew DNA, he would have been able to present his theory in a more believable manner. So this is a slightly tricky uh, answer choice. If if the knowledge of DNA were existent, which is existing today, right? Would it have helped Darwin explain his theory better? See, at the end, the author says that no conclusive evidence of this theory has yet been found. Right. So this includes DNA. That means today we know DNA, but still we don't know whether Darwin's theory is true. So that means at the time, if Darwin also knew DNA, probably he would still not have been able to make the theory more believable. So quite a tricky answer choice, but this is not true. Anecdotal evidence plays little importance in scientific discovery. Now the author takes objections to Darwin relying entirely on anecdotal observations, but the author does not say that anecdotal observations are not at all important. So this will be too far-fetched an answer choice. So this is not correct. Assumptions of a scientific theory need to be backed by real-world data. Yes, that is exactly what the author objects in Darwin's reasoning. So this is a good answer choice. Let's keep this. Theories that are not yet proved have not advanced the scientific knowledge. This is not true. The author doesn't say that. There are other elements unexplored so far that explain the theory of evolution. Now don't get confused with this. Now this again is slightly tricky. You may tend to infer this from here, but that is not entirely true because the author does not say that there we need to have new elements that are not yet been discovered. It is possible that the elements have been discovered, but we have not been able to still prove the theory. So this is slightly tricky. And even if you compare this with answer choice C, we see that answer choice C is a much better uh, and more directly given answer choice. So we will not take this and we will go ahead with C.